All right, I will be traveling later today, but I wanted to do a video lesson and I wanted to do a trade because you have these overall market panics, whether it's the overall market or a sector, you have these intraday panics, I guess would be a better uh, term, where you can dip by the panic, you just have to be prepared and you have to have a plan and you have to know what's going on. Because if you buy at the wrong time, you're just buying you know, a falling knife. And when you try and catch falling knives, your hands get bloody. So this is CAN, and I actually didn't even trade this. Um, let me pull up CBDS is another one that that panicked and now is spiked uh, 60 cents. CANN spiked uh, what 40 cents, so roughly 10 percent. Uh, CGRW was another weed stock that panicked from 220 down to 170. Now this is back up. So this is uh, this is actually a nice little bouncer. Just didn't get the big panic. The one that I played today was CNAB uh, because you got this, you know, first of all, you had this little drop here. Um, first of all, I have to explain, buy the rumor, sell the news. A lot of you guys are surprised, like there's good positive weed news out today with all the voting. It's been priced in for several weeks. If you look at the run-ups on these stocks, buy the rumor, sell the news. I mean, these stocks have had a huge run-up. I mean, going, going up a thousand percent, CNAB, uh, CNBS. Uh, or CNBX, my bad, uh, has gone up, you know, from six cents to over a dollar. Like a lot of you guys don't understand why good news can push a stock down. I encourage you to watch my DVDs. I've gone over this buy the rumor, sell the news pattern over and 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 over. So if you're confused at all, no, your video was not skipping. I'm just trying to reinforce it. It's because you're not prepared, because you haven't studied. I don't make these video lessons to practice my voice, okay? I lose my voice often because I make so many video lessons. So it's frustrating for me when you guys don't study ahead of time. Secondly, this drop on CNAB, I just made roughly a thousand bucks in under 30 minutes. Um, you know, this was a, a, a beautiful panic to buy because First of all, you have the drop, and then it's dropping a little penny by penny, but there's no true panic right in here. So I would not dip by penny by penny dropping. Here, once it goes through key levels like 220 and especially 2, if you know about stop losses and how they get taken out, that creates automated panic selling. So people who are trying to protect because they're like, oh, I'm going to put my stop loss at 2, so if it goes down to 2, I'll get out. Guess what? The people who are trying to sell it at two, they're getting executed at a buck seventy to a buck fifty. That's why I don't use hard stops because on penny stocks, especially volatile penny stocks, you're not going to get the price that you want. You're just opening the door to massive panic. So I thank you, idiots, who use the hard stops because you create buying opportunities. And CNAB was a great buying opportunity when it drops from 2.6 down to 1.5. And if you look at it, it's had drops before and it's bounced. You know, you had a big drop here from the 230s down to 130, and it bounced. You had a drop here from roughly 3 down to 180, and it bounced. I don't know how much more this is going to bounce. I don't care. I'm already out. I'm buying into true panic just because I know that, guess what? Some dip buys can really work, and CNAB is not the first um, or the last panic buy earlier this week, or was it even last week? I don't even know anymore. Uh, CATQ, I dip bought and I made 20%. Two weeks earlier, I dip bought CGRW and I was off on this pattern. It was the first time that I've done a dip buy on these weed stocks and I almost lost big. I almost lost 15,000 during a live challenge webinar because I added too big too quickly. I ended up, you know, adding lower and, and losing just $600. And had I traded it better, you know, I could have actually made like 20 or 30 grand. But I did not have my timing down. Uh, on CATQ was the other day. I guess it was last week. It was this panic. Okay. It had been going up, going up, going up. This wasn't even a weed stock. But you still had the big panic. And this one, my, my theory was that I was dip buying it because the promoters would try to push it back up so that the promoters would not get sued or investigated by the SEC. And I was buying this. I actually nailed the bottom on this at a buck thirty. And, you know, you could have made nearly 100% on your money when it bounces all the way back to the twos. I took 20%. I sold way too soon. 
because frankly, I play it safe. I play like a wuss. CNAB, I just sold in the buck 80s, okay? And now on the bounce, it's up to 203. So nothing huge yet, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this bounce more. The point is, is that I was prepared, okay? This was my trade. I made a little over a thousand. My best trade on this morning panic out of all of them. Uh, you know, I, I lost on CGRW, as I mentioned. CATQ, I made roughly, I think, 20%. And now this one, I'm, I'm making nearly 25%. All very small positions because I'm trading with a small account. But you make a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars a day, it adds up. And the cool thing is that I was ready for this. Here was last night's watch list. And I said, stock market crash edition because overnight the stock markets were down 4 or 5%. I thought we were going to have a bigger crash. It's actually surprising that we've come back so far. But I specifically said this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This crash should not be news for you. Also, I've had several uh, blog posts in the past few weeks warning of a potential crash. Um, but where was this thing that I said? Uh, uh, where is it? I know I wrote it somewhere. Potential dip buys into panic. Ah, I'll look to dip by any big panics on earnings winners that hold support as opposed to just buying big random percent losers or stocks that break multiple day support. I guess, you know, it wasn't an exact prediction, okay? I'm buying the weed stocks on big panics, but I had the pattern right, okay? I had the idea that I'll look to dip by panics um, and I'll be looking to short sell many of these supernovas. And in chat today, you know, this was my, my, uh, my chat where I try and warn you ahead of time. Um, let's see. So right when the market opens, I said, you know, I'm playing it safe right now where I'm a, I'm 100% cash. So I don't need to trade. And I try and take this philosophy into the markets every day, but especially when the markets are, are crazy right now. Uh, 944, I said, weed stocks are selling off. Buy the rumor, sell the news type situation. I wouldn't be long any of them right now. Then I said, no shares to short on any weed stock as usual. So if you think that a, a sector is going to sell off, you obviously, especially when they're supernova, you want to short sell. The problem with these weed stocks is that there's really not many shares to short. So it's very difficult to short. But when there's no shares to short, and if you have the big panics, potential dip buys into panic though. So I specifically said this at 9.50 a.m. So this is my train of thought. A few minutes later, I dip buy CNAB. Because I'm dip buying the panic, just like CATQ, CGRW a few days ago. Goal is to make 20 to 40 cents a share uh, on a very small position. And guess what? I mean, it's it's bounced. Actually, I caught the low. Um, some people were asking, how did I catch the low? You never know exactly where the low is going to be. Um, but there were huge, huge buyers on the bid uh, here. You can't see them now. But at a buck fifty, I think there were like 30 or 40,000 shares that could have bought at a buck fifty. So I like buying oh i just got a tweet just now literally right as i'm doing this awesome i love it el sanchez good job sanchez bought the dip on cnab or cn c-a-n-n here we go and then we got this michael lee big thanks to tim sykes tim gratani and eric you guys seriously changed lives not much but it's my biggest so far and he he dip bought MJNA at 12 cents and made 9%. I guess MJNA is bouncing. Eh, yeah, I mean, MJNA is the worst bouncer of them all, but you know, you still make 9%. So a lot of people say, don't trade penny stocks. They're unpredictable. Oh, it's, they're crashing. Oh. Guess what? They are predictable. It's good when they crash. You can dip by the panic if you're prepared, if you know. So, you know, I'm preparing ahead of time. No shorts available. Um, sorry, there's more alerts going out on that platform. That's live. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is, first of all, on, on November 1st, I highlighted this article from Ray Allen when he was retiring a basketball player. He wrote a letter to my younger self and he wrote some keywords. And I'm going to find them. Boring old habits. So he won two NBA championships and he says the personalities on those two teams will be different, but both teams will have the same thing in common. Habits. Boring old habits. I want you, I know you want me to let you in on some big secret to success in the NBA. The secret is there is no secret. It's just boring old habits. So I know you guys want me to let you in on some big secret in the stock market. The secret is there is no secret. It's just boring old habits. 
and boring old habits in the stock market is studying the past. People ask, why do I have 4,000 video lessons? Because you study the past and you get better, okay? If you were not prepared for the buy the rumor, sell the news, then you need to watch Penny Stocking, Penny Stocking Part 2, and especially my Spikeability DVD and How to Make Millions DVD. Every single one of those DVDs talks about buying in anticipation of news, never ever holding through the news. And then, if you're more recent, you know, look at this. This was the other day, November 3rd. How I made 20% on CATQ by studying CGRW. So this video lesson will be called How I Made 23% on CNAB by studying CATQ and CGRW. You're getting better from the past and you're learning. And ideally, you're making a little money too and you're growing your account. You know, a lot of you guys have small accounts. It doesn't matter if I made $1,200 on this or if, you know, you're like this guy, Michael Lee, and he made 91 bucks. Or if you're like El Sanchez and you made 1600 bucks. You know, he bought CANN on the dip and CNBX. These are all the same pattern. CNBX on the big dip right in here. I mean, it drops from a buck 70 down to a dollar. And it bounces, you know, look at this. It, in, from 9.53 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m., seven minutes. And you can make 40% on your money. Okay? So I know penny stocks are dangerous. I know the whole world hates on them. But there are opportunities if you understand the dynamics. You can't just study longs. You can't just study shorts. You have to understand how the whole game works. And then you can pick and choose your spots. You could have dip bought CMBX and made 40%. CANN, I guess you could uh, go from 350 to 4, so you make like 10%. CNAB uh, is here at 207 off the lows, so this was 30%. So I chose one of the ones that spiked 30%. But I could have easily, I mean, this was right at 9.52 a.m. also. So I could have bought CNAB and CNBX. And CNBX was actually better where it spiked 40%. So you need to study. You need to learn. You need to study my past video lessons. And I'm proud some of you guys are getting it. Uh, here's Cool Boy 160, and he says, "Thanks so much. Just made 300 on CANN. Your videos on CGRW, CATQ made this possible. Good job, Cool Boy. You've been studying. You pay. You get paid. Okay, studying pays off. I know that's like a cliche term, but I'm proving it with student after student. Here's another student, FX Trade, in the chat room said, CANN, CBDS, CNBX, CGRW doing the same thing. Wow, just wow. Really does pay off to study. It's not." random okay penny stocks can be predictable at certain times now mind you they're not always predictable don't make me like out to some, saying something that different okay I'm not saying that they're always predictable but when you focus on the right patterns okay buy the rumor sell the news you shouldn't be long today no one should be surprised by that uh, dip by the panic when you know some people are like oh my god the stocks aren't spiking let me just sell and then you get these huge drops. And if you can find shares to short, that's fantastic. I know some people, especially with bigger accounts, you'd have all different brokers. And there are some shares to short. It's very difficult. So for most of you guys with small accounts, and me because I'm trading with a small account this year, well, we dip buy. And you can make 20, 30, 40, 50% within 30 minutes or an hour. And they might bounce more, but I don't care. Because I'm already in. I'm already out. I went in for a specific bounce. I got it. And, you know, as usual, I sold too soon. I mean, I sold CNAB in the 180s, and now it's like 210. I didn't have to play it that nice or, or safe. I'm just scared. And so when I take 20% or 23%, and I could have made 30, 40, 50%, I don't care. I'm trying to show you how to make a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars a day when the patterns align, when there's opportunity. And you have to be prepared ahead of time because the only way that I got this execution here in the 150s was being prepared watching this panic happen. CNBX was even quicker. I mean, the only way to get executed here. I mean, look at this. At at 9:46 a.m. it's at a buck 46. And then at 10 a.m. it's at a buck 46. So, 15 minutes later it's at the same price. But in between, there was a nice little 30% off sale. <laughs> okay? That's the beauty of penny stocks. And I didn't even trade this stock. So don't say, oh, you pumped this up. It's the same pattern on all these stocks, and I only traded one of them. And I'm buying a few thousand dollars worth. Whether I buy or alert or not, these patterns work again and again. So if you want to be like an NBA champion, like 
you know, Ray Allen is, okay? Well, guess what? You need to practice your boring old habits, so that's studying. So leave a comment. Let me know if you're gonna be dedicated. Go apply to my trading challenge if you want live webinars from my millionaire students and I also. But it's all about study. It's all about preparation. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys in the chat room.